Welcome, this is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, this is Jamie Tyrrell of Group 1 Trading. Well, the S&P 500's been both in the black and the red today. Right now, as I'm speaking, it's just about unchanged after yesterday's sell-off. We're seeing the VIX and the VIX futures come in slightly, which is about what you'd expect for a day of unchanged S&P 500, so no real realized volatility between yesterday and today. We're seeing a, a lot of volume today, uh, and a lot of it's in out-of-the-money puts. We talked about a month ago of a customer coming in, buying the December 2018 put spread for 20 cents. So they bought that about 60,000 times for 20 cents. It was a big trade. It really bumped up all of the volatilities on the 22 and a half line, on the 20 line, on the 18 line. Really inflated that downside. Now. In many senses, the customer was right in volatility. It did keep moving downwards, but it's not looking like it's going to get past that 20 strike before December expiration. So they sold that position out today for seven and a half cents. They sold 60,000 of the put spreads, the 1820 put spreads, for seven and a half cents. And then they sold 60 or 30,000 of the 20 puts by themselves for seven and a half cents. So in all, they sold 90,000 December 20 puts, um, bought back their short December 18 puts, uh, closed off that spread. It was bought for 20 cents, now sold for seven and a half cents. As the future has come downward, but it hasn't come downward with nearly enough speed for that spread to go in the money. Now it's it's still a live spread on that 20 line. It's still nickel bid at a dime on the December 20 put, so there is still a possibility. But people are more and more discounting the possibility of us going significantly below 20 before December expiration. A lot of our other volume has been jelly rolls. So someone buying a call, selling a put on the same line, in this case in February, and doing the opposite in December. Now the, the jelly roll, you're buying the February 25 call, selling the 25 put, it's a synthetic future position. So when they buy that jelly roll, they're getting long the February future, they're getting short the December future. And we've seen a lot of this action both on the DS Jan and on the DS Feb. Currently, January future is trading at a significant premium to December. January is trading about $3 over December. February is trading about $5 over December. So that's the contangle that people expecting a significant pop in volatility. And with the, the contangle this steep, the back month future so high, there's been a lot of action, people both buying and selling those. So today that was one of our big trades, someone buying that February future, selling that December future, buying into the belief that this February could be a very big month for volatility. This is Jamie Tyrrell with Group One, Option Monster.